I want to also talk about empathy, focusing on other people or fo- whenever you're like having a conversation, focusing on someone else and studying them silently. Why do you suggest people should do something like that? Well, if you don't develop that, your life, you're going to have a life full of misery and drama and pain. It's very simple. I'm not teaching you to be empathetic or understand people just out of some Gandhi-esque desire for love and brotherhood in the world. I'm telling you, you have to do it or you're going to fail in life, right? So part of your task <clears throat> is you have to be a team player. I don't care wherever you start, you're going to be fitting into a group, right? Even me as a writer, I have to work with publishers, with agents, etc. You have to know how to work with a team, okay? And to work with a team, you have to be able to understand other people's psychology. And this is very difficult in the world today. So if you're young, it's almost like you're starting with a, a, a hindrance in your path that didn't exist when I was young. And that hindrance is social media. Because you're spending so much time on your phones and your devices that you're not interacting with people enough. You're not learning the social skills the ability to look somebody in the eye and figure out what are they thinking? What is their body language? What are the emotions I can read on their face? Because you're continually distracted and you're continually thinking about yourself. And as you can develop, go on and on and on, like you develop this blind spot where you can do be great at code, you can be great at writing, but you can't see people and you can't understand what they're thinking. And you say stupid things and they offend you. You do things that make people hate you. And then you create all of your own, you know, barriers in life. You're creating them because you don't understand how to deal and work with people. So the thing is, you have to learn that one of the skills you're developing, if we're talking about learning skills, is not just learning how to do code or learning how to write or learning about business. It's also learning about people about politics, about egos, about people's psychology, about how to persuade people of what, what's in their self-interest, what's their spirit, right? So let's say you're starting a business, that's your goal in life, but you need funding, you don't have the money for it. And you've chosen like five or six people that you're going to try and hit up to give you seed money for your startup, right? And you think, well, hmm, this is a great idea. I know that people are going to love it. I'm just going to tell them why it's such a great idea. And then you try and and each time you fail, nobody listens to you. You don't get any money. It's because you're looking at it through your eyes of what you want, what's great for you. But other people have different viewpoints from you, different perspectives. They have their own self-interest. And maybe you're not aligning with their self-interest. So if you understood before that, that it's not about me, it's about them and you study Mr. A or Mrs. Ms. B, and you go, okay, this is what they're, where they are right now. This is how they think, what their world is. Maybe I need to tailor my approach to their spirit, to what they want, to what they need, right? You're going to be so much more effective in life. So I explain in my book, The Laws of Human Nature, how to develop the skill. We could spend 20 hours discussing it. But what you need to be able to do is understand that this is a critical life skill and that you anybody can develop it by learning to pay deep attention to the people around you and to f- try and feel what they're feeling. I can't know Antonio's thoughts. I can never read your mind. You're not me. But I can read your eyes. I can read your excitement. I can read your smiles. They don't lie. They tell me something very important. I can also read your actions. If you're late for meetings, if you don't return my messages, if you've got a bit of an attitude, these are all signs you need to pay deep attention to the signs that people give out that reveal what's going on behind their mask. That's as much a skill you need to develop as any of the skills that are important in life. And I do a lot of consulting. I deal with people, for instance, athletes, you know, people who, who are professional players and coaches, et cetera. And they have a problem where they don't understand how to work as a team. They don't understand the different psychologies of people because they're always used to thinking about themselves and their own skills. And they have tremendous problems in life. So no matter what your field is, 
the inability to understand the different psychologies of the people around you is going to be a constant impediment to any kind of progress that you want to make.